Welcome back to Shop Dog Garage. I have been out here scraping today. It's pretty lovely out, but it's pretty humid, so we're not opening the doors completely. But just you know, take a little and a little, <laughs> and then I got my tiny hammer. So when I hit an area like that, just kind of, kind of chipping away. This is going to take about 300 years, I think, somewhere around there. But I'm going to get the majority of this stuff off and I know that this was obviously painted the original merino blue body color but when we're done this is all going to probably be bed liner type material one it'll help quiet things down as rocks and stuff get kicked but two it'll look nice and protect it on the upside I'm not finding a bunch of rust which is the thing I was actually looking for so you can see everything in here is still pretty solid I'm pretty happy about that Yeah, you can hear it. She's all and then Right here here. Let me take you guys off the stand Okay, right here That's the area they obviously repaired something down below and They lapped it, but it looks like they did a pretty decent job. I'd like to clean up that surface rust But you can see we're slowly getting there so, yeah, but I want to get as much of this nasty stuff off before I go wasting a bunch of cookie wheels and stuff because I don't know what this is. Obviously, some kind of bed liner stuff. I mean, this could have been here for, you know, 30 years, 40 years. Who knows when somebody did all this? Well, I'm sure there's some better way to be doing this. I am making some progress. So... That's another 40 minutes of scrape-a-scrape-a. Scrape -a. Sure, uh, sure is time consuming, but I've been using different old, old, old wood chisels. Don't worry, these aren't, aren't used for wood. And then every now and then just kind of clean the edge and that usually gets you a little more bite. And you can see some of that stuff doesn't come off super easy. Some of it does though. Like up here. You see that? We just got quite a bit right there. So that's a, a nice step. But I think I'm going to clear everything out of here and give this a quick vacuum down. It's starting to get everywhere. Well, some progress is being made, but it is lunchtime. I am getting tired. Getting back in here is hard, but I'm getting there. And see where oh, no you can't you're stuck you can see I'm starting to get around this side as well there's a there's a bit of work here I've still got the whole other side yet hmm now well, gotta be done and as an aside for those who know we're actually working on some branding for Heidi's hot sauce and right now she's doing candied serranos and I'll tell you they're a little zippy oh look at that syrup they are definitely a little zippy. Hey, Shop Dog and I are coming back out. I don't know why we're going around this way, but whatever. It's absolutely gorgeous out today. It's not that moist out. 60% humidity right now. Well, 54 out front and like 60 in the back. So, I may crack that door up. I know a little natural light sure would make this easier. Oh God, I'm looking at that thinking how much fun that one's gonna be. But uh, I'm getting better techniques. I'm learning what I'm doing. So get back to work. Got a little protein in me and feel a little better. So uh, uh, I keep putting it off, but let's get back to it. Okay, getting ready to clean again. This is taking a little while <laughs> but I've got almost all of it scraped now so next thing we're gonna find out once I clean this is how effective are those little scratchy wheels yeah I don't know if it's the fastest way to do this but boy it sure is effective so I'm just using these pink ones so I don't know which you know you get bag of them and that's the one I happen to already have on and that one's working great 
I bet if I go to the gold one, it's even faster. Once again, the boss has come out and he brought Jeff with him. Mm -hmm. He wanted to make sure everything was going good. It's funny, it's hard to get enough light in there when you're in the mask. But you can see, it's, what I'm doing is effective. And man, you can find every spot weld, no problem. You can find every one of them. But yeah, the, uh, this is slow. <laughs> But it is doing a pretty good job. You know, there's, even even with that, there's still areas where I've got to come back and clean it. Because I don't know that I can leave any of this. I don't know what will stick to it. So, once we once we started down this trend, we got to do it. See, even neighbor Jeff is attacking it a little. Yeah, I don't know what product it is. But the stuff that comes off easy... It's great, but the other stuff, eh, not as much. But you can see, this really is going to clean up pretty good, I think. May have one repair here. Once we get in here, then I'll know. But there may be a little gap. Oh, you guys can't even see it. Right there, there may be a gap. So we'll deal with that. Jeff pointed that out. He likes to point out the bad news. And of course there's a little little rust right here, but you'd expect that from the tires kicking stuff. Shop dogs out again, but you can see we're we're making a little progress. This is kind of time consuming. Well let's try that again. You can't take a video with a with the photo button. I don't know why the phone has started doing that. But you can see it's getting there. Got some nicks I gotta clean up. Also, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's like numbers stamped in in several different places. So there's a good chance these two are actually original to the car, especially with the marina blue paint. Why would they have replicated that? So we're just gonna keep going. But I think I'm gonna start on the other side here pretty soon. This is looking like I don't actually have any repairs I gotta do. That makes me happy. Okay, I think that's where that's going to be for right now. Let's get over here. Started moving some tools over. Although, oddly enough, I got to go start making supper here shortly. We'll get all that out of there. We'll make this side look just as nice as the other. Well, to say that this side's going a lot better would be an understatement. This is really chipping out pretty good. So we've done no grinding, this is just chipping. You'll see most of it comes up pretty easy. But then you hit spots like right in here where it's been a little harder. But most of it is just flaking right off on this side and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But you can see, the stuff on this side, also a lot less dense on this side. So, yeah, whatever happened on the other side, you know, in the last 50, 60 years, didn't happen to this side. This side's peeling up much, much better. Okay, I think I'm done scraping this side. In fact, I just finished cleaning up. And now I'm going to start kind of whizzy wheeling in here. But I don't think I'm going to be working too much longer. It's getting pretty late. Well, if you recall on the other side, it was hard to get the coating off, but the paint texture came off pretty easy. Well, it's the opposite on this side. The stuff scraped off pretty reasonably, it only took a couple hours. This paint is pretty good. <laughs> it is not coming off that great. But that's going to be it for tonight. I'm, I'm exhausted. My shoulders are killing me. And it's later than I want it to be. So I think I'm going to go have some dessert get ready for bed and uh, call it a pretty good weekend thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe rocket ship slowly getting there